Hey, what's up, guys? Kendonesia here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing some more trading card game online, and we're going to open up a couple of packs of Unbroken Bonds. So, we're going to just jump right into this and see if we can get this done. So, we go to Versus Match, and um, I'm playing with a theme deck still because, like I said previously, I don't have enough good cards to make a standard expanded or legacy deck. So we're going to stick to the theme deck and see where it goes from there. So I haven't been playing any in the past couple of days, so that's why I have zero points. So let's see if we can get in here and win one. And see where we go from there. Alright, everybody uses the Charizard deck. I got tired of using the same deck as everybody else, that's why I went and got this other deck. Because literally that's the deck that everybody plays with. Alright, I guess I'll go first. And great. Mulligan! So he gets an extra card. That's my luck. That happens to me very often. I had one that said it took four mulligans once. Luckily that one only took one. Alright, let's put him out. I shouldn't have went first. Now I think about it. Every time I use that on the first turn, it's double tails. That's not fair. <laughs> What's the point in having a timer ball if it doesn't do anything for you? I need to kill him before he gets evolved because my luck he's gonna evolve him and then every single turn when he gets evolved he's gonna get a heads and I won't be able to do any damage to him there you go. let's go ahead and just evolve him real quick Had him already. That's wonderful. And watch. He's gonna attack. Instant heads. Oh, oh, tails. Okay. I will survive one more turn. Mm, I guess I just evolve him again since I don't have one. See, I already would have already had one out. But now he's gonna get. I'm gonna get to attack with him one time. He's gonna die. Doesn't seem very fair. He's about to have Charizard. Knew it. <laughs> oh, so I get to kill him. But then he gets to kill me immediately after. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and just kill him. Just get him out of there. And he'll just kill Charizard anyway, so I need Lucario. What? Why do you do that? He's gonna kill me with the Tool Buster. <laughs> He's gonna kill. Well, ain't that wonderful? Oh, come on. I have no energies. It's always fun when you have no energies, huh? Where's all my supporter cards? Well, he's gonna one shot him. I shouldn't have put him out there yet. I should have waited since I didn't have any energy for him. I'm probably going to end up losing this one is what it's looking like. Because I don't have anything. Charge is really kind of hard to compete against. Until he starts doing a lot more damage to himself. I 
can't do anything. Which there's no point putting any of them on their on their on the bench. And he's gonna one shot him again. He did get him involved, start getting stuff out. Maybe something that can do 110 damage. I think he used the Brox card pretty early though. Because he didn't have much in there. Now he has a bunch of energies in there. Five, yeah. I still get no energy though. How is this helping me? This isn't helping me at all. I'm just gonna keep on losing Pokemon because I have no energy. I want to know what what computer logic this was to shuffle my deck like this. Getting all useless cards. Yeah, he's he's gonna demolish me. I promise this is a good deck. It's just I had a horrible draws. I mean, he, I got a mulligan from the start, so. Um, there's no point. That's game. He's gonna beat me. He just had the better draws. It's not that that deck's better. I, I have that deck. I play with it plenty of times, but it's the same boring thing over and over again. It's like that deck is just. It's basically if you have that deck, as long as you start getting Nidoqueen Queen out and Charizard, you're gonna win. If you're playing against that deck, it's whoever gets Nino Queen out first. That's who wins. Okay. I might be able to save myself for one turn, if that. Make it put somebody else out there and I'll send him. But no, it doesn't matter. I save myself for five seconds. That's it. Yeah. You didn't even need to use that. That's game. <laughs> well. I seem to get lucky at this. Wink, wink. Lucky. Well, let's see if we can get lucky with some unbroken bonds. So let's go ahead and two packs of unbroken bonds here. So let's see if we can get lucky with these. Right, I'm going to do the Lucario and Metal one first. These packs never want to open for me. Supposed to be easier now, and they're not. Alright. There's the online code card. Two, three, four card tricks. Alright. Lightning energy. Chip Chip Ice Axe. Samson Oak. Janine. Lickitung. Litten. Krabby, Tangela, Oddish, that's a cool looking Oddish, it's like a bean bag, or not a bean bag, but a uh, hacky sack, he's a hacky sack, reverse holographic whooper, and a tag team muck and a low and muck. I get so lucky with these freaking packs. It's ridiculous. That is a freaking gorgeous card. 
That is an amazing looking card. Look at that. Alright, oh, wait. Let me put this off to the side and put that in a sleeve later. Alright, let's go to the next pack. Charizard Nurse Room. I can open it. Alright. Oh, let me put that the right side up. There's a code card for you. Four cards and how did it end up upside down? Fire energy. Radicade. Well, is it good? Are we gonna sit there and I like this thing to focus. Okay, whatever. Perry Charm ability. Whooper. Cotney. Been in that. Meowth. Geodude. Reverse holographic metapod. And an Agron. Non holographic rare. Well. That was pretty good. I mean, two packs and you get a tag team. I mean, I'd say that's a pretty good card right there. If only it was the Charizard restroom, but I'm going to be happy with this either way. So, I appreciate you guys coming out and joining me and watching this. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.